hello everyone and welcome to my channel today is going to be the first of the letters of the alphabet series where we will make an object in correspondence to the letter of the alphabet so without any further ado let's make and learn as you can see I already have my Adobe Illustrator opened up and here I have made a square canvas which is 500 pixels by 500 pixels so I will select my ellipse tool and by clicking on my canvas I will get this dialog box where I can put my desired size of the ellipse since I want it to be a circle I will make sure the chains in the link are connected together so that I get equal width and height since I want my circle to be 150 pixels by 150 pixels I will click OK and I will get my circle now we will select this lowest node by using the direct selection tool we will know that this node is selected if we see it to be filled with blue color as compared to the other nodes since it is confirmed that it is selected now I will elongate it by holding the shift key and pressing the down key four times this is the desired elongated ellipse shape that we want now I will make a copy of this shape by holding down shift and alt and I will make sure the center of my second object second object is tangent to the edge of the first one now as you can see we have two similar shapes to make it more of an apple look we will click the first shape and by selecting the rotate tool we will press enter and a dialog box will appear where we can mention the degree of rotation that we want on this object for this first object we would type in 10 and press ok now we will select the other object and apply the rotation tool on it but this time we will rotate it to minus 10 degrees and press OK. Now we can see we have much more of a better apple shape in front of us. So the next step we will take the line segment tool and roughly centering it we will click and drag and drop this way we will make a line segment of whatever size we desire and now we will give it a color so that it can be easily visible since it is going to act as a stem of the apple we will color it brown from our swatches since it does not have any thickness to it make sure that we have the stroke color selected and then we make it brown now we have to increase the stroke size so that it can be much better in look we can go into the stroke toolbar where we can find the weight and here we will punch in 
15 points and press enter as you can see the line is much wedgier now having this done the next step we will choose a stroke profile from this option and we will choose width profile number 5 now you can see it is looking more of a stem and you can click and drag it and place it to your liking as you can see here the third element that is required to complete our apple is a leaf for a leaf we will go again into the ellipse tool click on the canvas and this time we will punch in 50 pixels by 50 pixels so we have a circular shape we will give it a green color so that we do not mistake it for any other object now having selected this circle going into the direct selection tool we will select the topmost node by holding the shift key and pressing the up arrow three times we get an elongated shape now we will select the lower bottom node and holding the shift key and pressing the down key once you can see that we have achieved a leaf like shape now we will rotate it on 45 degrees by holding the shift key and pressing the corner of the leaf and rotating it now we can move this leaf and place it to our liking apparently this leaf looks a little large so we will reduce its size a bit but you can do it as per your liking so we have the stem and the leaf here let us change the color of the apple to red by going into the swatches we can select the red color and here you can see we have a nice beautiful red apple in front of us we can merge these two objects together by selecting them and by going into the pathfinder tool here we can unite them with the unite option now they are merged together as one object now what we will do is give just a little detail so that it looks more appealing so here I will make an offset path to this apple the offset will be tw minus 20 pixels in the preview we can see where this offset path will be made we are okay with this we will go ahead and press ok just so that it does not disappear with in the background we will give it a white color and since the next step required requires it to have a white stroke we will swap the fill with the stroke color by pressing on this swap arrow and you can see now we have a white outline we are going to increase 
the stroke size stroke width by selecting this object we will go ahead and punch in 10 points this is the desired width of the stroke that we require and now by selecting this scissors tool which you will be able to find in the toolbar where there might be an eraser tool keep click on the eraser tool once and you will be able to open a toolbar within and here you can select scissors tool or press C as a shortcut to access it now as you can see there are so many nodes on this stroke we will select this node and this node these are the two places where the scissor tool has cut this stroke now we will select the rest of the strokes and we will erase it by clicking the delete key having done that we will select this stroke and within the stroke menu we will go into the stroke profile and we will use the width profile file now we can see there is an effect of shine on the apple now it looks more of a conventional apple as we are used to as in illustrations now what we will do is we will select it all we will group all these elements together by holding down control and pressing the G letter now we can see we can move the apple all together we will center this apple to our canvas by selecting it and using the horizontal align and the vertical align to give this of a much more appealing look now we will go into the shape tools and we will select the rectangle tool having selected it we will click it on the canvas and now we will enter the required size of the rectangular of the rectangle we will make a square from this rectangle tool and making sure the links are linked together we will make a 400 pixel by 400 pixel rectangle or in our case a square since the numbers look fine we will go ahead and press ok now we have an outline of a rectangle or a square in front of us placed on our canvas since the outline color is white and we do not have a fill color selected for it as of now thus it does not appear in front of us let us change that by clicking on the fill and changing its color from the swatches to a green color as you can see it has overlapped our apple so we will select this square right click it go into a range and we will send it to back now as you can see the apple has appeared and the background has gone in the back we will align this square on our canvas vertical and horizontal align apparently this color is seems to be too dark for the apple let us change it to a much lighter tone yes this looks much much better having done this we are done with making the apple now we can write what we have drawn we will choose a 
color for it making sure that what we have written is centrally aligned to the canvas we will select and align it and here you go we have an apple made in Adobe Illustrator thank you for being with me on this make and learn journey i do wish and i hope that you will try this and i would love to receive your comments on this make also you are most welcome to email me whatever you have made and share your creations I will make sure to have them in my future videos. Thank you once again and have a good learning.